Hello, today is June 21st, 2018, and um, it's the first day of summer, and, you know, I found this garden, I've been here before, um, but it's just so important um, that we spend time uh, with God in prayer. Um, you know, Jesus set an example for us to follow. And, um, you know, so find that quiet time in your day, wherever it may be. Um, you know, a time to just um, get your heart right with God. To let Him know, you know, what your, what your motivations are. You know, He... He says something interesting that if you know he can trust you with a little, he will trust you with, with more or something along those lines, and um, you know you could, you could be asking God for all these great big things. You know you could be asking God to just bless you um, tremendously, um, but you know you gotta you gotta get you gotta get right with God. You have to, um, you know, ask for maybe ask for a. a you know, like a baby step, you know, let's give me, give me faith for this one thing, something small in your life, you know, and, um, and trust the Lord for it, and, you know, and watch for it, and, um, you know, hopefully the, uh, the Lord will encourage you along that, that time as you wait for it, um, but then just in all things, you know, give thanks, Rejoice evermore. Pray without ceasing. This is God's will for you. You know, it's in the scripture. He wants you to um, just really be talking to him um, and and seeking for his will to be done in your life. You know, sometimes we, we ask for things um, greed, greedily, you know, like try to make things better just for yourself. But, you know, in God's, in God's plan, um, you know, he's, he's seeking to, uh, to bring in all of the lost, you know, so just recognize that God's plan for you as you get to know him and you begin to walk according to his plan and his purpose and his will, uh, may require you to be more like him and to seek out those who um, who are lost and to encourage them. And, um, you know, and as, as God um, reveals himself to you, it might be in those times of prayer when you're asking God for, for something, um, you know, that you that you need, you know, recognize that he already knows what you need. And he, being the God, the creator of the universe, knows that the thing that you need most is truth that comes from God, God the Father, God the creator, the one who um, is the good shepherd, um, leading you and guiding you back to him you know he knows your your earthly needs as well but he knows how important it, it is that you um correct your relationship with him that you uh right all the wrongs in your life now uh just an interesting thought you know sin what is sin sin is an indicator that there is something wrong with you. If you find that you are sinning uh, on a daily basis and you're not even recognizing your sin, you're not repenting for your sin, um, recognize that that is an indicator. You know, God could, could let you, um, uh, allow you to be sinful but when you recognize that sin in yourself or the, you recognize sin in others, it is an indicator that there's something wrong. You know, if you were heading for death and destruction, what would be your indicator? How would you know? How would you know that there was something wrong? And so um, if you were to seek righteousness, just as Jesus was righteous, um, you know, then you're going to be putting away sin from your life. You're not going to be a sinful person. 
And so recognize that, uh, you know, in your time of prayer with God, repent of your sin, get clean of your sin, get purified and forgiven. And then, um, you know, just start doing what God really wants you to do, which is to get to know Him better. And, um, you know, pray about these things, but pray that He would help to root out the sin from your life, that you would become more righteous, more like Jesus, more caring, more loving for the lost. All right, a lot of things in that message, but God bless you, and uh, just pray um, that God would help each one of us to seek Him and worship Him in spirit and in truth. All right, God bless you, in Jesus' name.